Yes, gang, welcome back to the YouTube channel, man. I hope you guys are blessed and having a good day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be another career simulation on a young player, Wonder Kid. We're going to have a look at the attributes beforehand and then simulate 15 years into the future and have a look at their attributes after, look at what traits they may have picked up, look at the statistics they've picked up, and just look at everything basically and just have a breakdown and see if that player is someone you'd want to sign for your team. But before we get into that video, people, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. You guys have been smashing it. Also, leave a like and leave a comment and let me know what other career simulations you would like to see. Let me know in the comments below, man. But let's get straight into the video, people. And today's video will be on Benjamin Says Goal. Benjamin Says Goal, bruv. Because he scores goals. That's what he does, bro. FM22, this was my go-to one, the kid, man. I'll buy this guy in every single save because he's an absolute maniac. The guy's six foot four. I say he was six five in FM22 from what I remember, but anyways, the guy's six foot four at nine years old, 14 finishing, 13 dribbling, 13 first touch. 12 passing, 12 technique. Listen, off the balls, 13 as well. Anticipation's 12, composure. At 19 years old, you know, advanced forward, this guy is going to be an absolute maniac. Acceleration at 6 foot 4 is 16. Jumping reach is 17 already. Heading is 14. Listen, if you can develop this guy very well, yeah, there's no stopping him, man. Honestly, there's literally no stopping him. He literally avoids using his weaker foot as well, seeing as he's... Um, yeah, he's not great with his left foot at all. And he likes to beat the opponent repeatedly. I mean, his flair's only 12, so I don't know about that trait personally, but it's not too shabby. The only thing which is a bit annoying with Sesgo at the moment is that he will be joining Leipzig um, at the end of this season. Me meaning, you will not be able to purchase him straight away in the game. You're probably going to have to wait two years after he's done a year at Leipzig, then try and purchase him. And then that fee, you could be looking at about 40, 50 million. But at 20, 21, them times, he's going to do a job for you. So it's probably definitely going to be worth it, man. We're going to simulate his career and see exactly what he is like, man. But yeah, in terms of all his attributes, 14, natural fitness, pace 14, stamina 13, strength 14. Listen, he's got what it takes to be a striker. He can head, he can shoot. He can move around, he can move off the ball, on the ball. Listen, he is he is a player you are going to need, trust me. Um, let's have a look at his career path beforehand. Beforehand, he was in Slovenia, then moved to Dom Zeli, then was bought from Dom Zeli to Salzburg. Then he done two loan spells, played for Salzburg, and then he got purchased by RB Leipzig in the summer. Manchester United actually could have got this guy, but for his own development, I think he actually chose to go to Leipzig instead of going Man United. I mean, he's kind of smart, honestly, taking it step by step. He's not um, jumping gunman, so yeah, he looks like a smart man, or whoever's advising him is a smart person. But this guy should definitely win a couple, at least one Champions League. Maybe the Ballon d'Or, man, I don't know, but, you know, goal scorers usually tend to win the Ballon d'Or, so we, let's just see if he does better than Haaland does eventually. I'm going to simulate 15 years into the future. Let's see where Benjamin Sesko ends up, people. Man, two secs. A few moments later. And here we are, 15 years into the future. Benjamin Sesko at 33 years old. And he has ended up at FC Porto with a transfer value of only 1.1 million. 3.4 million. 37k on wages. I mean, I was expecting more. Honestly, I was expecting a lot more from Sesco. I'm not going to lie, man. As you lot said, I told you lot just before this that he's a player you're gonna want to sign. But as we can see, his first touch is still great. His finishing is still great. Um, he looks more like a bit more of a poacher because his dribbling is not too great. Honestly, um, his composure is great. Off the ball is still good. Penalty taking is great. Heading's gone down. Jumping reach has stayed the same. Natural fitness is good. Um, he likes to run with the ball through the centre. So we know he's definitely someone he wants to play in the centre, nowhere else. And he moves into the channels as well. To be fair, he still is an AF then. If he still moves into the channels, he still is an advanced forward. But as we can see from the side, you can see that after Leipzig, after scoring 46 goals in 101 games, which is almost a return of 1 in 2, which is absolutely crazy. 
the guy then moved to Bayern Munich with 86 appearances, scoring 68 goals, bro. Why he scored 68 goals in 86 games. Are you understanding how crazy that is? 68 goals in 86 games. That is ridiculous, bro. Like, that is literally ridiculous. And then he then moved to Real Madrid and scored 20 goals in 40 games, man. Everywhere he's gone, man, he's been smashing it, honestly. Um, in his whole career, he's played 320 games and scored 174, which is better than one and two, man. The guy is great, man. But let's have a look at um, how much he moved for. And let's try and see what won in his career, man. So we're going to go straight into career stats. So we can see straight away that he moved um, to Leipzig for 20 million. For nine goals in his first season, then 11, then 13, then 13 again. Then he was purchased by Bayern Munich for 84 million. Only playing nine games, but scoring eight goals in those nine games, which is crazy. Next season, 24 and 19, or 19 and 24, sorry. Then 20, 20 and 24, 19 and 28. Then two goals in one game, and that was it for his time at Bayern Munich. He was then picked up by Real Madrid. They scored 9 and 14, 6 and 14. Three and nine, yeah, then two and three. Yeah, I can't lie. I don't know who Real Madrid purchased, but whoever they got up front just had Sesco sitting on the bench, literally. The guy was not getting minutes at all, man. Let's have a look and see who they actually did purchase. Because the guy couldn't get minutes to save his life, bro. It looks like a wonder kid or something or a regen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I can understand. <laughs> I can understand why Sesco ain't getting minutes, bro. That's his 16, 16, 17. Yeah, man, I can understand why he's not getting oh. But, um, yeah, oh my God. Yeah, this guy was... Yeah, this guy was bought by Liverpool and then sold for 217 million. Yeah, Sesco was never getting a sniff after that, bro. Honestly. But, yeah, um, Carlo Ancelotti is still a manager as well. And then, yeah, man, we can see that he'd done some bits at Real Madrid. He definitely won some Champions Leagues or some the Leagues or something. We'll have a look. Then he moved to um, Porto after his contract was done at Real Madrid. Meaning he can still probably get another move to another club. As we can see, it says he's wanted by um, Napoli. So but let's have a look at what he has won in his career, man. As you can see by his milestones, um, he was under-21 runner-up, under-21 Football of the Year runner-up. Then he was Europeans International League Best Young Player. Then he signed for Bayern Munich, then won the Champions League. He also won the Super Cup. And then he was World Player of the Year runner-up. So he actually got the Ballon d'Or runner-up. But let's actually look at what he has won in his career. So in the years between... 2026 to 2031 he was at Bayern Munich, and I probably know Bayern Munich probably won. Yeah, <laughs> look at look at the absolute dominance from Bayern Munich. So yeah, he won five. Um, he won five Bundesliga, and then Real Madrid from 2030 all the way to 2036. Let's have a look now. And we can see straight away, 25 to 2036, the guy literally won the league every single time. So, yeah, man, the guy's got a decorated career. Honestly, he's a serial winner wherever, ever, everywhere he's gone. He is a serial winner. He got about 40 mil to spend, maybe. Well, Bayern Munich said they paid 84 million. But that was after about four seasons. So, your best bet is to try and get him in the second season. He moved to Leipzig to so 20, 24 to 25. Probably getting for about 40 million and he should be your striker for the next 10 years minimum for the region start popping up but that has been the video people if you have liked this video make sure to leave a like and comment don't forget to subscribe as well also if you want to win football manager 23 i am doing a giveaway on twitter right now the link is in the description directly to that tweet so i'll see you guys in the next youtube video man peace